The Witch Who Lives Down the Hall, written by Donna Guthrie, illustrated by Amy Schwartz. This is my apartment building. I live on the 14th floor with my mother. Our apartment building looks like every other apartment building in the city, but it isn't. A witch lives down the hall from me. Her name is Miss McQuee. She has long curly hair and big round glasses. She wears an old blue jogging suit and sneakers with yellow stripes. I admit she doesn't look like an average witch, but witches sometimes wear disguises. My mother thinks Miss McQuee is just a nice lady who lives with her cranky cat Malcolm. I'm not so sure. For instance, the day we moved into our apartment, Miss McQuee said to my mother, I'm so glad you have a little boy who's interested in astronomy, tropical fish, and books. I think Miss McQuee looked into her crystal ball because she knew all about me before we met. A witch can tell the future by gazing into a crystal ball. My mother said, Miss McQueen knows about your hobbies because she saw the moving men bring in a big blue telescope, a 25-gallon aquarium, and boxes and boxes of your books. I'm not so sure. Miss McQueen has strange friends who come to visit. They bring big books of magic and cases filled with magic charms. Witches hold special meetings where they share their magic secrets. My mother says, Those people are members of Miss McQuee's Reading and Music Club. The cases hold instruments, not charms, and the books are about music, not magic. Mother also tells me I should mind my own business. I'm not so sure. Late at night, I lie awake listening to Miss McQuee practicing her witchcraft. I hear the click-clack of her magic beads all night long. Witches practice their special noisy magic late at night. My mother says that click-clack sound is Miss McQuee's home computer, and it's time to go to sleep. I'm not so sure. One Saturday morning, while my mom was sleeping, I went outside to pick up the newspaper in the hallway. The wind blew the apartment door shut, and I was left alone in the hallway. Suddenly, Miss McQuee appeared out of nowhere and asked if she could help. I explained what happened. Miss McQuee pulled a strand of long, brown, curly hair from her head, and before I could say hocus pocus, she turned the strand of hair into some type of key that unlocked our door. A witch has the power to change things. My mother said, Miss McQuee used one of her bobby pins and jiggled the lock. But I'm not so sure. Once, when I was sick, Miss McQuee brought over a mysterious potion. She said it was an old family recipe. I just knew it was made of bat wings and spider legs. I didn't want to eat it because I was afraid it would make me feel worse. But I ate it anyway, and I began to feel better. A witch can stir up magic potions to make people well. My mother said it was plain old chicken soup, but I'm not so sure. Early one morning, I crept out onto the balcony with my blue telescope. I wanted to watch Miss McQuee performing magic. Soon I spied her. She was dressed in black, sitting on a magic carpet, singing an eerie song to her grumpy cat Malcolm. A witch uses a magic carpet if she doesn't have a broom. Witches also sing weird magic chants. My mother said that Miss McQuee was wearing a leotard, sitting on an exercise mat and doing her morning yoga. She said there's nothing magic about Miss McQuee, Malcolm, or yoga, and that I should use my telescope for stargazing, not spying. I'm not so sure. On Halloween, Miss McQuee's door was the only one in the whole building that was decorated. She pasted big orange pumpkins all over it and hung a scary white ghost on the hall light. Witches love Halloween. My mother said, Miss McQuee just likes to decorate for the holidays. But I'm not so sure. On Halloween night, I dressed up in my red devil suit 
and went trick-or-treating from door to door. Most people didn't even remember it was Halloween. Miss Elliot, the ballet dancer who lives in 14C, didn't remember. She didn't have any candy, so she gave me a health food bar. Mr. Crockett, the piano player who lives in 14E, was having a party for grown-ups. He didn't have any candy either, so he gave me a rye cracker with cheese spread on it. But when I went to Miss McQueen's apartment, she hadn't forgotten about Halloween. She was ready. As I walked down the hall, the door swung open all by itself. The apartment was dark, except for one big smiling jack-o'-lantern. Miss McQueen had on a long black witch's gown and a tall pointed hat. Malcolm wore an orange ribbon around his neck, and he seemed to be smiling at me. She knew I was coming. The table was set for two. We ate frosted pumpkin cookies and spiced apple tea by the light of her spooky jack-o'-lantern. Miss McQueen said, do a trick for me. So I stood on my head in the corner and whistled. Then she gave me a treat, a bag of real candy. Witches give the best Halloween parties. This is our apartment building. It looks like any other apartment building in the city, but it isn't. Because Miss McQueen lives down the hall from me with her cranky cat Malcolm. Maybe she can't tell the future with a crystal ball or stir up potions to make people well. Maybe she doesn't hold secret meetings or practice her witchcraft at night. Maybe she doesn't have a flying carpet or the power to change things. But there is something magical and mysterious about Miss McQueen. I'm sure of it.